Hello everyone and welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Boris is here. Boris saved us at the end of the last chapter. How do I... Oh, I've forgotten. How, all the controls. There we go. Excellent. Boris, mate, you've got a leak. Boris. You've got a leak. Oh. Oh. It's quite a severe leak. I don't know if you're going to get a plumber out here at this time. Nice undies. All right. Oh, there he is! Hello, Boris. I don't want to set the world on fire. Okay. Just been playing some solitaire, hey? Not really talking, are you? Alright. Let's leave. <clears throat> we cannot leave. I'm not getting out of here that easy. Need to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You seen that lever handle around? That's what I said. Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? <laughs> I thought so. Let's see what we got. Do you have to eat? Find, th find three soup cans. Boris, that's too much soup. Why do you need so much soup, Boris? Like, I like soup as well. Oh, gosh. Boris, my dude. That's a lot. You okay? Should we be concerned? Was there soup in here? No, that was ink. Three soup can. One soup can serves two people, usually. That's like the servings on the sides. That should be enough. More than enough. You want six servings of soup. That's hard to say, let alone cook and digest. Also, why is there a kitchen in this studio? Here is soup, Boris. Here you go. No. Oh. Eat up. Enjoy your soup. I'm venturing out into the big wide world. Don't wander off. Who are we talking to? Me? Yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh. Little miracle station. Oh, well, I don't love that, because that means we're going to have to hide from stuff. Is it you, Bendy? Are we going to have to hide from you? I'm suspecting it. It's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. Okay. Enter the darkness. No, thank you. I don't want to, but I have to. Keep the light near you so you don't get lost. Yeah, Boris, don't be scared, man. Uh, I, I do not perceive him to be scared. He's just sort of wandering off into the dark. So, maybe that was just us projecting. Hey, don't be scared, Boris! Everything's fine, Boris! What? Did you hear that? Boris? Yeah, me either. You're not very talkative, are you? Can you speak? Is it a thing that happens to you when you become a... A inky person? Well, no, because Sammy was speaking. Another dead end. And Sammy was an inky person. Oh. You got any ideas for us? I'm trapped, Boris. What's the plan, man? Where are we going? We're going in here. Can I crouch? Oh. Oh, I'll just wait. I guess. Where you at, Boris? Boris, is that you? Where the devil are you? Ha <laughs> ha get at the devil because of, because of Bendy. Heavenly wow. toys. I don't remember any of this. There's been some 
upgrades. Since we worked here, I'm guessing. Piles of goo. I see you, goo. I trust you not. Well, there's another little hidey hole there. Which isn't my favorite. What's this? I'm sorry, what? Who's humming? Why is there always something blocking the door? Gotta be a way through. Is that... Is that Jack? Jack. I didn't know he was in the game. That's cool. I love that. What am I doing? Am I pressing the buttons? Yeah, okay. Punching in. Oh, I need to free up the the wheels. I thought, I thought that was something coming at me. I was like, ah! But it was, in fact, just electricity. Alright. We good now? No? Am I still missing one? Oh, is this one still jammed? Oh, it's got an Alice head in it. And on we go. Goodbye, Sean Flynn. Don't love this. She's Alice Angel. Oh, this song goes on for some time. Oh! Hello, Alice. I don't think she looks very much like an angel. Really? Yeah, I'm the guy that just pooped himself. Mummy long legs. That's you? Let's see if you're worthy to walk with angels. Did, what, did you just smash a glass at me and then leave? That's rude, but sure. Okay. She looks healthy. Is this new? Was this open before? I don't think this was open before. I'm gonna go this way. Bendy, the demon, the angle. All right, I'm going to go this way. Because that feels like the way I should go. Dreams come true. Yeah, they do in Santa Fe. <laughs> Oh. But I walked into the recording booth today. Sammy was there with that Alice in. Apparently, I didn't get the memo. Alice Angel will now be voiced by Miss Alice Pendle. Well, she is called Alice. I mean, I don't know what you were expoting. I, look, it, it sucks when it happens. You should really have been sent a, some sort of a, a, a missive beforehand, though, to tell you that, that it was happening. It's very rude to be like, you're being replaced and we're not telling you anything. But I suppose that was the time. Lots of long corridors. Any bendy cutouts going to make a random appearance around corners? Hmm. 
Yeah, I see you. I see you. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I told you, didn't I tell you? I said it would happen, and there it is. There. <laughs> was that you, Boris? Boris? Oh, you scared me to death. Don't Why would you do that? Anything we can use to protect ourselves with. Aha! I take your weapon. Oh, I can't do anything with that. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, it's so gloopy. So much gloop. All right, Boris, you're right, right behind me, man. Looks like to open this, we're gonna need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. That looks like the way I'm supposed to go, so I'm gonna go this way. All right, let's go over this again. It's Wally and Thomas. Yeah. No. I would like to know that you would be able to tell the difference between those things from smell alone. Alright, well. The creator lied to us. I got a wacky stick, so I'm feeling all bold. Feel familiar? No. Like, I understand that they're hidey holes, but they're meant to be, like, outhouses, because I don't think you should have that many outhouses in your studio. They're very much in-houses at this point, you know? I don't know who needs to hear this. Joey Drew. Joey Drew needs to hear this. Work hard, work happy. <laughs> I'll do neither, thank you very much. The Butcher Gang. Oh, be careful of the Butcher. Ah, ah. Just start swinging. Just start swinging. Any more of you in there? All right. The Butcher Gang, as previously mentioned. Did you get attacked by a tiny man in a poster, Boris? Because I sure did. Oh, we got some creepy, creepy music going on. I need the toilet. Alright, well, I can't go. Bacon soup! Okay, well, let's go in here. You are so interesting. I didn't press the button. Boris, did you press the button? Different. I have to say, I'm an instant fan. Thanks, Alice. Like you've got to take with an angel. Yay. Well, that doesn't make it enticing. Alice, does it? Follow the screams. I'll follow summon. I don't know what it is, but it was summon. Also, the doors close and then not. Are there actual doors to the side of this thing? No, there aren't. I, this is a dangerous elevator. Why am I surprised at this point? Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Just seeing if there's anything else worth looking at. She's quite a gal. Oh, she's something. All right, well. I'm coming, Boris. Don't you worry. I'm on my way. I'm going to save again. Always on time. But never in line for dreams.
All right, well, good to know that the elevators are safe and sound. She's quite a gal. Uh, Boris, maybe don't run ahead, dude. Boris? Can we see some chill, please, Boris? No chill. No. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be a lot, huh? You okay? Buddy? Wait, what's that? Other? There's another one. And another one. Oh, my. Giddy on. Um. Anything less than perfect is left behind. Giant face. What's going on here? What's this? What's with this guy? He's got three arms. Whom's is she? We've met you already. I had to give you a clobbering. It's clobbering time. Oh. All right. Well, there's a lot going on. Oh, hey Alice, you got you got yourself a butcher gang member there. Hmm. Now we come to the question: Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart? To my heart still light. My vote is no. The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. You got a lot going on. I'm sure you're beautiful on the inside. You have a halo going through your head. I don't want him. Thank you though. I do not. Buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. Uh huh. First time I was born with this inky womb. I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. Delightful. Well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, I will spare you. Thanks. Better yet, I'll even let you ascend and leave this place if you will do a few easy, weensy little favors. They will not be easy, weensy. I'm gonna call it now. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. I resent that name, but okay, like. All right. We're going to be working for Alice Angel. That seems good. That seems fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Boris. Boris, we've got to get... Boris, where are you, Boris? Did they get Boris? Ooh, a thing. Who would have thought? Me, having lunch with Joey Giroux. Oh, I'm going to tell you this doesn't end well, Susie. Is that Susie? Okay. Yeah. Because, like, Sammy got turned into the guy who was just wandering around with the bendy mask on being creepy. And the way she's talking about it is like she was reborn through the ink. And the first time she was one of the puddle monsters. And then the second time she was whatever that is. But she's very angry. Are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. A wrench! Okay. Um... Yeah, uh... There are so few rules to our world now. Uh-huh. So little truth. Like, but there's right. one rule we all know and respect down here. Beware the ink demon. Stay out in the open for too long and he will find you. 
I don't love that. Okay. It wasn't like that, Boris. We didn't. We didn't have a date. I'm not running. Moving at a regular pace, thank you very much. Gearboxes. Oh. oh, you have gears. One down. That's cool. Thank you for the gear. Um yeah, like, Susie sounded less than thrilled. This one's empty. In the conversation. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna pop out, aren't you? Ah, that should be plenty. Return them to me. That was quick. Alright. This is gonna be a lot of things, isn't it? Because that was way too easy. Um, yeah, uh, like, she sounds very resentful, and I imagine someone who got rejected, um, and, like, dumped by the company she was working for, and Joey Drew, and also, from the sound of it, there may have been other things going on with Joey Drew. Um... Now he's been eaten by Bendy, I think. Um, but yeah, like... Oh, this isn't... Is this where I want to be? No, I want to be on floor 9. Sorry. Um, yeah, so it sounds like a lot happened between her and Jerry Drew. Not least of which being fired. So it seems a reasonable... Suspicion another that day, another dollar. the person who became this very angry, obsessed with beauty Alice girl is probably Susie. The swollen ones. Okay. If you're going to catch them, you'll have to learn to move quietly. Come back to my door. I have something that you'll need. I'm at your door. Take the ink syringe. Collect three extra thick ink from people on level 11. Gross. Always on time. Level 11, level 11, level 11. What a K and P. Kindergarten and Pintergarten? Do you know Boris? Ah, this place looks awful. Oh, that must be a swollen one there. What an unpleasant noise. Ow. Okay. That doesn't open. Okay, good to know. Oh, Boris, you're just going to chill in there? Cool. Appreciate it, my dude. Hey, yeah! Gimme. Boris, where are you going, my dude? These noises are not great. OK, 
Okay, well, there was one there. And there was one around this corner. Okay, I just need one more, right? Some very wet noises going on. Uh, what? Talk about that? Okay. Oh, well, that's. No, I, I got you! I got you! <sighs> I went this way and it popped back up. Uh, what? I'm gonna guess this is bad, so I'm gonna hide in here. I'm hearing heartbeats, so that can't be a good thing. That sucked, whatever that was. Is it very sneaky? Okay, we got it. All right. Yeah, I got you, Alice. Anyway, Oof. don't know what that heartbeat thing was, but I did not enjoy it. Hey, Boris, just been chilling in here. Cool. Whew! Shouldn't be drinking coffee while I'm playing this. Ah. Yeah, still still feeling a little burned by Joey, I feel. GM. Okay. I'm gonna give you this. I'll make this simple. Look for valve pads. Turn the little wheels. Then bring me their power. Valve powers. Please don't make me regret sparing you. I can always change my mind. I have already bought you thick goop and cogs. What am I meant to do with this? Plunge bad guys to death? Prepare to be plunged! On guard, touche. Fish even. Touche. Touche. Yeah, they ain't ready for this. Back to the old man. On level P. Plunge! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, Boris. I didn't realize you'd be so wounded by my plunge! Um. Solve the ink tubes on level P. We're on level P where we'll solve the ink tubes. What are the ink tubes I hear you cry? <laughs> I have no idea. Boris, you're going to disappear again. Because I did not appreciate that. Oh, hey, buddy. Ow. 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 I don't want to work here anymore. I also don't want to be here anymore. So, like, I feel that in my bones. I'm going to guess this is the tubes that we're looking for. Uh, he will set us free. I bet he won't. Whoever it is. I'm guessing he won't. There was a dude on there, right? I'm not crazy. Oh, 
crap. Shh. He doesn't know. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, Bendy, hello. The good news is he has no object permanence. <laughs> That scared the doodah out of me. This game is getting me. I'm on edge. I'm drinking coffee. It's a bad time. Poor choices are being made. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop drinking my coffee. I want my coffee, but at the same time. Grateful for his lack of object permanence. Very grateful for that. That could have been problematic otherwise. Now we've got two of them. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Get out of here, you plunge! You gonna do it too? Mm, thought you were, but you didn't. You will though. Yeah, plunge! 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 Ow, what? Do you mind? Rude. Yes, but please stop calling me that. I find it demeaning. Also, Bendy's freaking terrifying. Why did no one tell me this? I mean, I know this because I experienced him previously, but... I still feel like I could have been informed, you know? Someone could have said something. Boris is cleared off again. Boris, I need you to hang out in the lift without pressing buttons. That would be great. That'd be great. Cool? We good, man? Yeah? You good? You okay? Cool, I'm glad. I see you, Boris. I told you. I told you it was Susie. You better get over time for this. I said it. I told you. Didn't I tell you? And when did I tell you? A long time ago. Have your plunger. That's three things, right? So that's enough. How many jobs do I need to do? Oh, my axe is back! Destroy all bendy cutouts on K and heavenly toys, so I have to work my way back from K. Okay. Oh, you stuck around, did you, Boris? Cool, glad. Thanks, mate. You and me are fighting, just so you're aware. Disappearing on me time and time again. Like I'm not in a bendy filled nightmare. Oh, oh, well. I'm trapped. Okay. You're gonna pop up again? No, nope. okay, cool. Love that for us. Pff, 
Just looking for cardboard cutouts of Bendy. A thing I know he'll love. He'll adore it. He loves it when people destroy images of him, I can tell. Okay, there are no cutouts out here. That's good. I dislike the hiding thing. I really, really do. And that's just a poster that leads to the thing. Um. Any this way? Any this way? Yeah, I was ready for him. Don't you worry about it. That's the one that Boris scared me with. An ominously long hallway. Love that for us. Haven't seen a little miracle station for a while. There's one there. Okay, cool. We know where we're going, should we need to. I won't cut that up because she'll get mad. Tempting as it may be. Oh, the demon way closed up. I did not know that. But that it does make sense. I hope I'm still going the right way. Because it said Heavenly Toys as well, right? And Heavenly Toys was back this way? I'm assuming I'm doing this correctly. You should never assume it makes an ass out of you and me. Back to your grind. <laughs> yeah. Different kind of grind than before, though, right? I imagine there were less ink monsters when you last were here. Old whatever my name is. Got you. <clears throat> Way ahead of you, Alice. Already in a box. Oh, he's mad. Is that him breathing? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, he got spiky spine. But you're not well. You don't look good. I would see a chiropractor about that. That's a bad time for you. No wonder he's so cranky. He's carrying all this spiky spine problems. Oh, he walks so slowly. Go on. Go on, Bendy. Out you go. Off you pop. Toddle away. Toodle pip. Arrivederci. Ciao. Avida Sane. Alright. Excellent. I reckon I could take him with my axe, though. Okay. Uh, Alice tried to have us killed. Not thrilled about that. But, like, also not deeply surprised. Um, she's quite a gal. It's Alice Angel. Do, 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 do. Jumping up the car. do, 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 do. Tempted, so tempted, but I won't. Need to appease the crazy angel lady. Now, I suspect she wasn't quite so crazy prior to becoming an ink thing. 
Um, though Boris seems to be pretty chill. And I don't know who Boris was. But, like, Boris is doing well for someone who has now witnessed multiple dead copies of themselves. Just really rolling with it. Well, maybe they're not doing well. It's hard to tell because they don't talk. Maybe they were doing very poorly, in fact. Go away. Any time now, Boris. Hey, buddy. Again, if you could just leave this up here where I am, I would really appreciate that. Thanks, though. Like, I understand you may be going through some things right now, having seen stared into the face of death and have it stare back at you. But also, I'm doing stuff and I need access to the get out of here place. Which is what I'm now calling the elevator. Can I open this door? I would like to try. A hacky. Yeah, a hacky. Oh, that's the door. Oh, that's the door. Hacky. Hack. Ha ha! A puddle! These are that are. Oh, you are the accountant. Is it the ink machine? Always on time. All right. That's got to be it now, right? I've done four tasks for you. That last one was actually dangerous. Here's an axe. Kill the butcher gang. All right. Oh, here they come. All right. Well, this one, this beast is sprinting. He's going for it. All right, that's one down. Two down. Old fishing rod head, eh? <laughs> All right. So quiet. Like a welcoming grave. I like the silence. Don't you? Not when you phrase it like that, no. I'm here. You've got to be kidding me. Another one? I don't want down, to. Down, down into the abyss. Take the lift down. Say hello to an old friend. Sending you a little present. A little firepower. Take good care of it. It belonged to someone. A little firepower? Am I getting a gun? Oh, a gun! Not a gun. Oh well. Better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst, Alice. You need you to know that. You suck. Down, down, deeper into the depths. Oh, in. It's gonna be fourteen, right? Yeah, we haven't been to fourteen yet. Okay. 
How are you holding up, Bars? I've been mad at you, and I am kind of still mad at you, but, like, I, I want to make sure you're okay. Oh, this place is terrible. Collect five ink hearts. Can I give it back? Don't leave me, Bars. Oh no. Oh, this sucks, Alice. That's the guy I saw earlier. Just gonna look around a little. See what I can find. Any hearts around here? Nope, just cornered myself. That's all I've done. Good to know. I kind of hate this. Oh, this is Norman. Okay, well, you are creepy, Norman. I'm sorry to, to be the bearer of bad news, but if you're standing behind people watching them, you're creepy. It's just part of the deal, my friend. Okay, well, there is literally nothing back here. I don't know why I keep coming back here. I'm just trying to avoid going to the area that I know Norman is. The projectionist. I'm assuming it's Norman. We just heard him refer to himself as a projectionist. He went that way, so we're going to follow him round. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, well. Through the intestine. Out into the light. Um, it doesn't take much for him to see you. Just so you're aware. Just so we're all aware. Let's try the other direct. I'm just going to wait for a second to see if he goes by. Also, I do not like the noise he makes. That's an unpleasant noise. Come by, Norman. Okay, he's coming this way. So we're going to duck out and round. And let him go by. We now have two hearts. Just three more to get.
Come on by, Norman. He was definitely coming around that corner, right? Because if I peek around there now, I'm going to get attacked. Or maybe I was wrong. Going back that way, yay. I think he knows when I pick up a heart. He does know when I pick up a heart. Okay, that's good to learn. Continue around this way, see if I can find another one. Otherwise, I have to go deeper in. I have to go deeper in. Don't love that. Quickly, 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 get inside the cupboard. Still nearby because I can hear him. Yeah, I see he's coming by. Deeper in and hoping we find a heart. There's going to be one more heart to find. Surely just one. There. Yeah, I'm done. Well, I have them all now, so that's the key thing. <laughs> it's my story and I'm sticking to it. I didn't know where it was going to be. Alright. Yep, yeah, just, still just got to take it down. I didn't lose the hearts. That's good to know. Alright. Don't love the projectionist dude, but I'm going to leave him alone. Because I did all I needed to do with him. Old Norman Polk. Creepy Norman. Boris, you stuck around. I appreciate you. We're learning. Friendship is magic. Why are you scared? What's up? What's up, my dude? Back to the old 
grind. Boris was very afraid, and I don't know why. Don't love it though. All right, have your hearts. It seems we've reached the end of my to-do list. Finally. I hope you enjoyed our time together. Not really, no. Always treasured. Return to the lift. I'm going. It's time to go home. Please. I'll take Boris with me. It'll be cool to have a friend who is a, a inky dog. Another day, another a dink. Have you wondered what heaven is like? No. I like to dream that it's quite beautiful. Hopefully. A soft valley of green grass. Well, I like to subscribe to the idea that if there, there is a heaven, it's like your own personal heaven. Like you get to see... That sounds ominous. Don't love that. <laughs> Boris, I think we've been betrayed. Just a feeling I've got. I'm not going to let them take you. Susie's not getting you. No. No. Not gonna. Stop shaking me awkwardly. There's a scary lady behind you. Boris. 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 Boris! Boris? Our Boris, our good friend. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see what we can find that you wanted me to see. Okay. We're on level S. Well, that's another chapter down. Another one in the books. Uh, yikes. Um, bit of a longer chapter, that one as well. Alice is, um... Uh, the, I believe the phrase cuckoo bananas comes to mind. Um, yeah, I don't love that. Also, the protectionists can do one. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching this chapter. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, watching me pull myself quietly. Uh, <laughs> not quietly. I talk a lot. Uh, if you did, please do all the YouTube things down below, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz. In the meantime, I will see you in the next chapter, and as always, my friends, I will see you in the district. Take care. Boris!